All right, let's get to it. Head back up here. And I believe, yeah, we gotta go back down the elevator here. So, as I suspected, and as Rex confirmed as well, or not really confirmed, but suspected like I did, Saren was the one that uh, put that Asari here. Not a real big surprise, but there it is. So, doesn't look like Saren's here, but it does look like... Venezia is here. So let's go see if we can't find her. Okay. Let's keep going. We got movement. Freaking Rachni. the unguarded back door in the seal area rift station the guards are not alerted to your presence yeah there's there's a couple ways I think it, I believe there's just two ways you can go about this mission the way I'm doing it where you kind of help these guys out and sneak into the where Menezi is and then the other way which was up by where the doctor was you can uh, it's been a long time I know I've done that route before and it's a little more combat oriented but I don't even remember what you gotta do to get there I'm assuming you just opt to not help them find the cure um, Benicia she left rift station to battle the creatures in the invested hot labs labs can be accessed save it again and let's open this Get some more Omni Gel. <laughs> Save it here because there's you Benazia. do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation to shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. <clears throat> Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Here we go. This is actually, it can be a pretty difficult fight if you're not careful. These biotic commandos that she's got can throw you around with their biotics and it's a pain in the butt. Let's try to get them first. Oh, yeah, let's see. Suck it. Now some geth. And I'm excited. Shields. Uh. Uh. 
get it. Yeah, you have more gaff. I get it. Okay, you got a big cluster of guys here. Let's let's mess them up. I've lost shields. Oh crap! My thing's all glitched out now. There we go. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will... You... <laughs> you must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Yep, just like, uh, um, what's her name? I forget. It's been a little while. We met yeah, Shiala, Shiala. Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How do you lose a mass relay? How does something that big go missing? Four thousand years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. So, you know, from what we've found so far, that Saren can indoctrinate people, and while, you know, she's done some pretty despicable things, it's from what we've seen from the other Asari Shiala, it's, you know, they're quite likely they're not in their right frame of mind so Shepard's kind of inclined to believe especially given what Liara's said you know and Liara seems nice enough her mother's probably not naturally some crazy homicidal maniac you can still make it right give me the information I was not myself but I should have been stronger I transcribed the data to an OSD Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You, sh you should... Oh, you should. Mother, I... Don't leave. Fight him. 
You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. All right, here we go. Let's just put her down right now. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> hmm. Yep. That's why I like to bring Liara on this mission. It's kind of more personal with her, you know, seeing her mom. So now we have a Rachni queen here. Mm. Walking dead. <laughs> This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. We filled you with enough plasma to pop a tank. This vessel is at the edge. Yet she struggles. You cannot see her magnificence. We are breathing on the embers. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. Okay. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. Okay, well... All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? 
There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place. The last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. So it would seem that the Rachni, way back during the Rachni Wars, were being controlled, according to the Queen. Something was singing to them in a sour yellow note that kind of drowned them out and made them do terrible things so it's kind of one of those moral quandaries here and one of many in this trilogy that uh, you kind of have to face and um, this one's kind of I would say it's one of the first that you can really kind of maybe see the merits of both sides where it might seem like you know because they were such a horrible menace thousand years ago or so, they you might be more prudent to just get rid of the threat. But at the same time, you know, it's uh, if you take the queen here's word for it, they they weren't you know in control of their own actions. It seems, and to me, I've always been of the mind that not only do people or living things deserve a chance or a second chance uh, it's also kind of sad that they were almost exterminated in a war that maybe they didn't even want to fight so like for me I've always I've always sided on the the side of you know freeing her because it just seems like they're pawns and so I, yeah, I think that's how I'm, I'm going to go this time too um, I have in previous playthroughs when I wanted to see what it, what happens. I've I've killed her off and and uh, played through and seen what happens. And I just I always prefer to to let them go. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards, so maybe you don't get it. Yep, and of course Rex because the Krogan fought the Rachni, he's opposed to it, but uh sorry Rex, um yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna exterminate an entire race. Are we any better if we kill them all? Do what you want. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Solarians. You will give us the chance to compose a new we will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Great. Bugs are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this. One thing I always kind of wished was an option if you had Rex with you and he gives you that line about exterminating them. I always kind of wished you could bring up the fact that Rex is claiming that the genophage is basically a genocide on his race 
and I kind of always wish that you could kind of throw that back at him here and say, look, you want me to exterminate an entire race because of past crimes when, uh, essentially that's what you're fighting against in the genophage. So, and it's just a little nitpick I wish, I wish you could do it, but it's nothing major. I mean, it's not like Rex is going to kill me for this, right? gel there. Alright, so where are we headed? Um, I believe we have to head... Which way are we facing? We came from... So we're back at the tram. Now we still got to go to the hot labs, I believe. Yeah. We still gotta deal with the rachni in the hot labs, so let's go ahead and head down there. I'm actually gonna cut here and uh come back and head down to the hot labs. So thanks for watching.